start new game. All right. You know I do it. Jesus, do you know how I view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please, don't go tonight. I'm freaking scared. For you and for me. Yep, April Fools. My name is Dr. Edmund, but you can call me Phyllis if you like. You guys thought I was gonna do meme runs. There should be a register on the reception desk. So once you've signed in, grab the key card from the top drawer and head on down. You will need it to The joke is that I'm not doing anything for April Fool's Day today. Or this year. Restoration procedure for patient. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you, Josh.
short while anyway. Our sole purpose this evening is to track the memory and pinpoint its location so we can cleanse it of any. Hello, Vector Logic. Everything you're seeing in front of you is a visual environment pieced together from our client's subconscious mind. Barren wastelands or an abstract painting reimagined. It's all completely tangible. All I can see are brain scans of tissue degradation confirming my previous diagnosis of dementia. Both are incredibly important if we are to succeed and understand our client's needs. Now, if you just give me a second, I'll have some more details for you. Feel free to explore in the meantime. Readings indicate that the central focus of this memory is located below you in an old abandoned mine known as Devlin. This one? No, 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 no. This one. Turn off this one. Turn off. Turn on this one. So it is, right? No? Okay. So I've been digging a little deeper into our client's personal history. Uh, should be this. Do I have everything backwards? Whoops. Alright, so that should be an easy time save next time. It's whatever. Very much at the heart of these industrial ratways. I'll contact you if I gain any more information. <coughs> I don't think I need to do anything like hugely here. Things we touch throughout our life can stay with us in the back of our mind. Hmm. A projector. I'm not sure how they got here, but I think they relate to our patient's history. Don't worry, you won't need these to progress this evening as they're an optional task. But we should at least give this one a try. Yeah, I can't think of anything that I really need to do puzzle-wise. I just need to go and find all the, uh, answering machines. Oh, shit. I hope that wasn't important. A spray of perfume and it all comes flooding back. The only thing I need with that broken bottle after this is for a knocker and a projector. Neither of which I'm gonna need to need for this run. I'll store Come on. Either one Redux is actually like worse than the original. I should probably stop running it. At least temporarily, because it is faster. It's like a whole minute faster. How so? It's just really broken. I don't know where you are in there or what it looks like to you. UE four is surprisingly more broken than UE three. Um in one, because, like, while this game is faster, technically, um, it's, again, it's a whole minute faster than the original, but, like, it's much more broken, there's a lot more that can go wrong, um, I found so many more glitches in this version than I have the original, the original is much more, like, sol solidly put together, and on top of that, you can at least do Hundo in Classic. You can't do it in this one. There are three projectors you cannot finish.
there are three projectors you cannot do in this entire in, in the in, in EOR, and those are the Miner's Dry, the Church, or no, the Miner's Dry, and by extension the Victory Shaft and the Church projectors. You cannot do those, so you can't do all projectors, and you cannot do Hundo. Moments like stars. Are like you straight up cannot do them; they break. Um. So, like, EOR is actually worse than Classic, but it's, like, technically a minute faster. It's really stupid. Industrial Center 2? Oh, these are not subsplits. Okay. These are not subsplits, these are normal splits. It's very interesting why I decided to do this. That's whatever. Yeah, I should probably stop running Redux. While it is faster, I don't think it's really worth it. I'll probably run the rest of the, the categories that you do in EOR, and then I'll probably stop running EOR pretty much outright. Just because the, the, uh, the best category to run in this is... Um, is all projectors or hundo, because those are really, really good categories. So I'll probably run the rest of the categories that EOR would be faster to do, and then I'll go back to running classic, because classic just is better. Yeah, it should be easy. <laughs> going back to EOC though, that's going to be really, really weird. Oh yeah, you can also do this in EOR, something that you can't do in a uh, EOC. So, take that as you will. There's no reason to do it. Like, it doesn't make anything go faster, it's just there. Imagine this is almost done. Uh... 
Wait, why am I not doing Brimcliff Ball? Yeah, why am I not doing Brimcliff now? I don't even need the, uh, res I don't even need the artifact to do Brimcliff, uh, answering machine. It's weird. Uh, right. You can't actually clip through the area in this one. There's a little bit of time save on that split. I don't really care, though. As I said, I'm pretty much just going to do the rest of the EOR runs. And I'm probably never going to run them again. I might, but I, I don't... I'm not... Pinning any promises. Just because these are not particularly interesting runs. There's a reason they're in the miscellaneous categories. To be fair, so is all projectors, though, so I don't know if that's necessarily a, a thing. <laughs> Just remember that all of this funding is lost if you don't do your job effectively. Hey, there's the artifact. artifact. It's right there. I found it. Nope, this is not Hey Buzz Percent. April Fools, you guys thought I was gonna do meme runs today. That's my April Fools Day joke. I'm not doing April Fools Day today. Well, I, I just, but we've discussed this. The cost of treatment and care, it's just, it's too expensive. You could stay here with me. You could get help here. We'll miss you. Don't ever doubt that. Uh, 
I don't know, I might do Hey Buzz later. I don't know. Well, look at that. Excellent work, Restorer. Now that you have the artifact, return to the case and let's explore this second core memory. I might do it later. I don't I I just I didn't really feel like doing meme runs today. I don't know, I felt like it was too expected of me to do a meme run today. That night, that April Fool's Day might as well be cancelled after fucking what happened yesterday. God damn. Elon Musk dropping a rap single about Harambe. What the fuck, man? How do you- how do you compete with that? And that- that wasn't even an April Fool's Day joke, that just happened. Like... How do you- how do you follow that up? Realistically. Ta-da! I broke the game. Now, I want to figure out... Huh. No, okay, so you, there, there is like an invisible wall there. You can't just skip this. I feel like you probably could, though. I feel like that is a thing that you could do. I don't know, you'd have to find a way of doing it better. But I feel like you could do an elevator skip here. And this is a, what is it, a three minute segment? So I could cut down a lot of time. I mean, you're already cutting down time playing EOR, where you can skip all the uh, dialogue and it makes things go by a little faster. I don't know why you can skip the dialogue here. You can just like click on this this uh, this one part, like with the with the the switch. And you can just skip all the dialogue. And while it doesn't skip the aspect or doesn't skip the the cutscene as a whole, it does make it go by a little faster. So, as I said, EOR technically faster, but it's so much worse. You can also do this a lot faster too, because typically when you uh, play EOC, you have to be down the steps before you can do this. Like right about here, here is where you have to to start instead of just out of the elevator. EOR is a very different experience to EOC, but they're not different games, so I can't feel good putting them on different boards. And that, and you get EOR when you get EOC for free. Like, Ether One Classic gives you Ether One Redux, so you can you can run both anyway. It's not like there's any restrictions or you have to pay extra money for it. It, it like EOR comes free. Hey guys, did, did, did I mention that some people should, or that, that more people should run Ether One? Because <laughs> it's actually a very interesting game. There's not a whole lot of tricks. Actually, I, there's not really any tricks. There's just like small little tech things that you can keep in mind. There's no tricks to it yet. There's no game breaking. But. 
This game is so, like, it's such a casual speedrun. It's nice. Come on. Walk, Thomas, walk. <clears throat> Are there two in the village? Oh, right. Okay, so there is actually something we need to do in uh, village. There is actually a projector we need to do. We need to do the uh, school projector. Luckily, there's nothing really to worry about. School projector's pretty easy to do. You also technically need to do this projector, so... But you need to do this projector for any run where you have to run into Brimcliff. So... Like this one's a required one. If you, uh, if you do it. Okay. Open, open. And then you go down now at 380. Require projectors. Fully. Please come this way. The doctor will see you now. It's what we thought. The early stages of dementia. If we act now, there's a strong chance we can delay the onset of symptoms. I'll be honest with you. Treatment is expensive, especially without the right kind of insurance. But with the right care, there's a strong chance of you having a relatively normal life in the short term. We've had similar cases as you. Thank you. We hope you take over all of your treatment options. That is such a slower lift than it is in EOC. I think this is the one thing, or like one of the few things that's actually slower in EOC. Uh, no, we want to go this way. And it is just in here. Hey, I I've been asking around and have been doing a little research. Is 
yeah, no, we need to do the school projector, but that'll be really easy to do. So this will be probably the one in the inn. I'm beginning to suspect that I may have been too cavalier in my approach. In fact, I'm certain I have. But these are new frontiers. And the one in the inn is like at the very top. There's not much you need to do there. phone again? Really? <laughs> okay. It was really good talking to you last week. I know Rachel misses your voice. We've, we've been thinking maybe visiting. Or maybe somehow you could come to us. Anyway, let me know. I need a better route. Um... For all ribbons. Cause this shit's not gonna cover it. Like this this side track that you have to do is really fucking stupid. Realistically, I should get that ribbon before I go to Brimcliff, but I don't. It'd probably be faster than what I'm doing now. But again, don't really care that much, uh, as far as, uh, these categories go. Unless it's all projectors or hundo, I'm probably not gonna care that much. Even then, I could reroute uh, all projectors and Hundo. Alright, 
don't know why I was teleported there, but whatever. I know we want to go this way. Up the stairs. I think. Oh, we're back here. I thought that would have been it, but <sighs> just one second. What the hell is going on? Yes, that's it. Not what I expected, if I'm honest, but the final hurdle hasn't yet been crossed. To think it was here all along in your case. See, I can't even do the really cool, like, chair strat. Oh, good machines. Wait, this isn't right. I don't understand. Yeah, I can't even do the chair strat. In EOC, if you sit down in that chair, and wait for this to do its thing with the, the, the board. If you get up at the right time, you can actually walk faster. Uh, in the next section. Like this upcoming section here. From behind the, the wall. Granchy, you don't really need to, uh... You don't really need the chair strat here because you already walk pretty fast. How am I today? Uh, I guess I'm okay. I'm just kind of doing some, uh, EOR runs. Because EOR is a minute faster, so it's, it's better for all the any percent runs. Like, all ribbons, all answering machines, knocker percent, all restore plaques, and what have you. I sat around, joked around, or I sat, I sat around and joked about how I was gonna do meme runs. And, uh... Boy. April Fools, you guys thought I was gonna do meme runs. What if in reality this is all in your head? It is. Like, the whole story of Ether One takes place in Thomas's mind. It's a, it, it, he's suffering from dementia, right? Like, you understand that by the end of the game. Hello, Thomas. I, um, I guess the last question to answer is, how do I fit into all of this? In your memories and in your mind. Oh, you get up so slow here, I forgot. Oh, for real? I mean, who says it's not? Who says reality isn't just a figment of one's imagination? What if I'm not real? What if there was only one person in the world who was real? And everyone else is just a figment of that person's imagination? Memories are all yours. Everyone an experience from your life. 
some of them we were together and others only you experienced. You felt that running away was the best thing to do. You didn't know who was taking you away or where. A lost soul in a sea of uncertainty. Frightened and scared. Lost in your own illness, your mind fought to save as much as it possibly could by creating this confused world of... Yeah, the question is, is who's the real individual in the world? These who is the one person in the world who's imagining all lost. of us? Traumatic as they are. But it truly was the only but way if you were me, to understand who you are as an individual. Then you would just be here. You would just be me. Therapy. I would just You're be talking to myself right about now. That that but I do that all the time anyway. In that care home. Day in, day out. I do talk to myself pretty often. That was the last time I saw you for a very long time. Especially when Chad's dead. <laughs> I kind of just talk to myself at that point. Yeah, no, the theory that's like... It's time we face this. What if we're all just figments of Please one please. individual's imagination? Who's the real person in the world? Who is the one person who's actually alive? I swear to god, anyone who's like... <laughs> fucking any outsider who sees these fucking streams... And just think we're a bunch of stoners. Mr. Fletcher? Thomas? Hello, it's me, Dr. Uh. You want me to sit? Okay, let me just grab a chair. I've bought two of your favorite things today. Sorry, what was that, Thomas? Actually, what if we're all high and uh, oh, weed actually takes us out of that high? Let's look at this one first. I think it'll mean a lot to you. Oh, Thomas. Oh, let me wipe those tears. Does this lamp mean something? Uh, uh, of course. What if weed is actually a stabilizer and and Did your when you're uh, when, when you're in that high or Thomas what we think, what we think is a high, you're actually in a low. so important because because my, my wife she, she kept it for me what if we are we were smoking reality i was taken away from here from i don't know life. what if yes yes <clears throat> but she where where is she i i want to see her thomas i when did you last see Jean? I, 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 I saw her. I, I, I'm sure. Well, uh, you've done very well today, Thomas. I am. Um, I do have another item for you, though. I think this will help you remember. I mean, I hope it will. to wind it up for you. Okay, here it goes. What if you asked too many what if questions? Wouldn't that be annoying? To an extent it would be, yeah. So let's, let's not do that. So apparently Discord removed the light mode for April Fool's Day. Joke's on them though.
I haven't updated my Discord. <laughs> I still use light mode. Get bot potatoes. No, see, here's here's my thing, or here's my thought. If Discord was going to remove one of the modes, the better one would be remove night mode. It's like removing light mode from Discord only hurts like a little bit of their uh, of their user base, right? Like light mode users are already a minority of dis uh, of like the entirety of Discord's users, and we're already constantly picked on for it. Like because dark mode is so it is seen as like a default now to the point where people even think it's a default or actually it might even be a default to, to discord nowadays remove dark mode there you go april fools you got them it would affect so many more people than just the small minority of light mode users that already get jokes made about them Yeah, just no dark mode. Just for a day. Actually, apparently, from what I heard, that they they actually reverted that change because people complained. Uh, people, because uh, what is it? When it comes to dark mode, I don't use it because it hurts my eyes staring at it too long. Like it actually hurts to look at to me. I know other people have the opposite effect where light mode hurts to look at for them. And that's fair. I, I'm not, I'm not saying those people are wrong, but for me, it hurts to look at dark mode for too long. Uh, it starts burning words into my retinas, and it, it's painful to to look at. So, um, <laughs> we could be heroes just for one day. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was gonna say. Cause I was, I was gonna make a point. Forget what that point was gonna be. Fuck. <laughs> I I it's okay. It's actually I think it's actually better for your eyes if you don't do dark mode stuff. From what I understand, it's actually better for your eyes to to, you know, read things like it normally is, like the white, uh, like the white te- or, or sorry, black text on white background. It's actually healthier for your eyes, from what I understand, at least. Uh, I don't know the actual studies on that, though. Um, but yeah, it, it hurts me to, to look at the, the opposite. Like, I'm, I'm not a Christian. But if I was, God made paper white so we could read black texts. <laughs> exactly, don't don't read in the dark because it actually puts a lot of strain on your eyes. But yeah, I'm not a Christian, but if I was, that would be something I would believe. <laughs> God made paper white so we could read black texts. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs>